Hello boys and girls, sports fans, Dan here, JDOD, what else? And I'm here with Chris Carnahan, aka Boo Boo. How you doing, Chris? <laughs> Very well, Dennis. How are okay, you? Okay, I'm pretty good. Now, today we're going to be talking about, what is it we're talking about? You know what we're talking about. Yes, yeah, so when we were outside, I was talking about uh, automation technologies within SAP and how an awful lot of the administration effort undertaken within SAP landscapes is often quite manual mm -hmm. and how we can improve that and move to perhaps a more DevOps operational style where we are a lot more agile, moving our support lifecycle from waterfall to support agile working uh, methods and supporting development. Okay, well. so how does that occur? Because you've been talking about a lot of open source stuff, haven't you, right? Yeah, yeah. The uh, Over the sort of the past 18 months, I've been looking at technologies that sit traditionally outside the SAP stack. So in the, the web world, for example, they use technologies like GitHub, Jenkins, uh, they use Puppet, Chef, all those types of technologies. And stuff I've never heard of, right? Yeah. It's but stuff, I'm not a geek, right? E even a lot of the geeky guys that I know that sit within SAP bases or sit within SAP technology are not necessarily aware of these technologies. Mm -hmm. And there's some really, really exciting stuff. A lot of collaborative, uh, work going on, especially considering it's open source and a lot of it's centered around GitHub. Mm. So it, it's some really, really cool, really, really switched on stuff. So what are you working with right now that, uh, as, a, as a tool set? What are you, what are you um, getting to make work? Well, one of the things that I, I, I've been working on is actually work, uh, working with a, a group of guys in Puppet Labs uh, using a product called Puppet. Mm. And it's a configuration management and deployment engine. Is that as, as in Pinocchio? Uh, well, it, it's funny actually, because there, there's tools called Geppetto and Marionette and things oh, like right, that. Right, so right, right, because when I think of puppets, I think of Pinocchio. Yeah. And when I think of Pinocchio, I think, you know, when it works, it works, and when it doesn't, his nose goes on, right? <laughs> so, okay. come on, dude, have, uh, come on. Dis, well, dis, dis, disindubulate me or whatever it is, right? Okay, so, so Puppet is a tool that you can use to provision uh, systems both on-premise and in the cloud so there's uh, you can use it with uh, AIX you can use it with uh, Solaris you can use it with VMware you can use it with OpenStack you can use it with EC2 to actually build your infrastructure they, they call it infrastructure as code nearly mm. and it's a declarative language so you, you simply say what the resources you want to have there available to you right and then once you have that infrastructure provision, then you can then start to configuration manage everything that's on that system. So you can install MySQL, you can change files, you can create users, you can do all this really, really intelligent stuff within a, within a single application that is open source and integrated into a wider ecosystem. Right. What does that mean for an SAP landscape? So if you were to take an SAP landscape, you could use the tools like Tivoli or you could use Solution Manager to perform certain administration function configuration management. Mm -hmm. um, but depending on how, uh, the, the, some of those tools can actually be quite isolated. I know Solution Manager and Tivoli have moved beyond, but there's also quite a, a, a license cost against those sort of things. You know, Puppet is a, uh, it's a foundation, it's an open source technology, and it is a cheaper license cost no matter what way you cut it. So. You can use tools like that to <coughs> reduce your total cost of ownership. Right. And also, if you're, if you have, uh, I have an energy customer, for example, who run a very uh, well-developed web uh, development team who are now starting to work with SAP technologies, and they're used to things like GitHub and they're used to things like Puppet. They can then start to work with technologies that they understand. So, hang on a second. So, this notion that I've heard many times that a large enterprise will certainly look at open source but it won't really use it because of the inherent risks or perceived inherent risks yeah yada 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 no throat to choke and all that crap yeah is is wrong is that wrong it is wrong okay. uh if i would give you the example puppet labs is a commercial company right. uh, red hat is a commercial company right there are slas there are support contracts there are proper uh you know you, you buy and you license the technology okay so support. so to put it into context Yes, uh, enterprise will use open source, but in this specific context, they're happy to do so provided that they can find a commercial enterprise yep. that's going to help them on support, right? Quite often, yes. Yeah, and that in turn lowers the cost of ownership because 
of the open source background to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, just very roughly, I don't want you to put pounds and pence or dollars and cents or, or what have you on it, but in percentage terms, what have you seen in terms of reduced TCO? Well, if you were to take, roughly, uh, well, I could give you a figure on what the website says from Puppet on what a hundred node license would cost you, which is twenty five k. Right. Which includes all the agents and the uh, the enterprise console. And that gets you the. Does that get you the support? Uh, yeah, I get you the support right. as well. There is a uh, there is an open source fork that they maintain themselves, uh, which is just Puppet. Yeah. And that that's free. Right. So it is. So they they maintain the two strands, and okay. it, it works really really well. Now SAP would say, well, with Solution Manager you can go across the entire stack, yada yada yada, right? Yeah. Can you do the same with Puppet? Puppet is extensible because it's written in Ruby. There are uh, obviously SDKs and stuff for Ruby to go into SAP. Yep. Is it integrated to that point the same way the Solution Manager is? No. But at the same time, I can install a Puppet agent and report back on every aspect of my infrastructure and a lot of the application stuff within a, a three, a 30 second install, whereas Solution Manager takes me a day or two to get it. Right. Up, build, patch, and then start the add the systems to it. So there are cases for both tools, mm. and I think they can coexist. I just think that an awful lot of the existing Unix uh, administrators or DBAs that are siloed away from the basis teams and things are using these tools. I think we should open up and break those silos down and start to use those tools to provide us with more, more information and better management. And would that, in the longer term, allow SAP landscapes to be opened up to um, different technologies yeah. along right okay yeah. so in one sense it's acting as an integration element from what you're saying to me yeah sort of sort of it, it's definitely but more more, like, more configuration management yeah. right so so if I'm bringing in services that may I don't know just run on Ruby for instance mm -hmm. I'm not going to have a problem because I can go via Puppet and that's going to be fine right yeah you can use the you can use the, the Puppet framework to actually manage the configuration okay. to make sure that it's the, the, the configuration between SAP and Puppet that allows that integration actually continues. Mm -hmm. So somebody doesn't come in, you can set the Ruby configuration that it is always pointing at the right. SAP server. As soon as somebody changes it, Puppet detects it and then just goes, I'm going to revert that back to the previous configuration. So that removes a lot of the manual stuff that you're having to yeah. do today. Okay. Oh, totally. Right. Totally. Okay. Boys and girls, this has got to be really interesting stuff. More open source, which yeah. we love. Absolutely. More SAP stuff, which we also love. Excellent. Cheers. You heard it first from Boo Boo. <laughs>